Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and uh, let's get ready for EJ Boxing Live. EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here with the Cobra, Carf Roch here at Bellew uh, Way, Bellew and Hay uh, Wayne. Um, Carl, um, how do you think they look on the scale and what do you think that um, they're making coming at that weight is going to impact the fight? Well, they both came in a bit lighter than um, we all expected, lighter than last time they boxed. And I think that's going to get a better performance from both the guys. So, um, literally, you can't you can't predict anything because you don't know how David Hayes' body's going to hold out. So, if his body holds out, then we're in for a treat because um, this fight could end up going, going a long way forward into the fight. It could end up in the last round. So, if it does, then expect fireworks early on. I reckon they're going to both be boxing, moving, trying to land the jab, trying to pick the shots. But when they come together at some point, they're going to, uh, they're going to exchange and uh, that's when it's who lands first, basically. It's like that, okay. I'm um, Joe Joyce and uh, Lemroy Thomas. Um, I expect Joe Joyce to be too too busy, too much for him. He's like a machine, Joe Joyce. He just keeps coming. Um, Lenroy Thomas, a fighter, looks in good shape on the scales as well. I was quite impressed. And he's had a couple of these, he had a couple of wins in against David Price. That's how people um, in England more know him for for them wins. But um, Joe Joyce, I just Hello. think it's going to be way too much for him. But uh, we'll find out a lot about Joe Joyce when we've seen this one. Okay, um, Jamie Cox and um, and um, John Ryder. Good fight. Um, a must win for both fighters, very very important fight because if, if the loser of this one basically is showing that they've probably got no no chance at the next level, no chance at world level and it's, it's quite an evenly matched fight to be honest. I mean Cox is a good fighter, George goes putting away with that body shot, um, John Ryder's he's coming up a weight but he's big, he's got big legs and he's, he's, quite, he's quite heavy and quite solid so both of them to me aren't aren't world beaters at super middleweight. They're not they're not really at that level where they could take on the top super middleweights, but you never know, they might they might develop into that. But it's a good fight, it's a close one and um you do well to pick a winner for that one. Absolutely. Talking about George Groves, uh, George Groves injured coming into into the World Series. Um, if that, when he fights Callum, so how do you think that fight would go? Obviously, you've been in the ring with um, George Groves. I don't know how bad his shoulder injury is. I don't know what's happening with that injury now. So. I think a fully fit George Groves probably has too much experience for Callum Smith, but Callum Smith's got good boxing ability and a good boxing brain. He's getting better and better with every fight. He's looking good. He's younger. He's very, he's very, um, he's full of desire, and you know he wants to do well. And George Groves, he seems to have been around now for a long time. But um, you've got to really make Groves a favourite on on world level experience for that one. But um, you just don't know how bad that shoulder is and whether or not he can come back after surgery. So. Um, We'll wait and see. Okay, Carl, mate, I appreciate your time. Obviously, you're a busy man. Big up to the Cobra, the King Cobra, and um, it's good to see you over here. Always a pleasure, man. Thank see you. you. Thank you very much. DJ Boxing live here with Spencer Furin here at um, Tony Bellew, David Hay uh, weighing. Spencer, um, what's your take off the weights? I'm um, then making the weights. Well, what was he? David Hay was 224 last time out, right? So he's, he's four pounds lighter. Not really nothing into that, really, truly. If David Hay was to come in lighter than that, we say, well, maybe he's overtrained. And when you when you reach a certain age, remember, he's, he's 37 years old. Do you know what I mean? I like the fact that Tony Bellew is, is he, he's lighter than the last fight, so he's, he's, he's 210 going into this fight. So Tony Bellew is going to try and relay on speed for this fight here. I think all that shows with David Hay coming in four pounds lighter is that he's in better condition than he was last time. So how are we going to gauge it? We can't really gauge it. We're going to have to gauge it on the fact that who wants it the most? Who wants it the most? And I think there's a lot of pressure on David Hay's shoulders, but it's how he's going to deal with that pressure. You know what I mean? You know, man's telling you straight, you lose this, you're done. Right? Tony Billy can lose his fight, still going out to cruiserweight and there's paydays for him. Gas here, food sick, there's still paydays down there for him. David Hay knows that this is done, so he's going, he's going to have to use or harness this supposed pressure and use this pressure and turn it into power. Absolutely as well, and I'll tell you what, um, Lemroy Thomas versus uh, Joe Joyce. i got Joe Joyce winning that fight. Right, Lemroy Thomas is a nice guy. If you mean you're Jamaican, what's going on, Spencer? What do you mean, see, we're like Jamaican, what kind of foolish I'm still British, and Joe Joyce is my guy. And not only that, it's not because he's my guy, I'm just going to be real and tell it how it is, Joe Joyce will methodically break down Leroy Thomas and, 
and maybe stop Leroy Thomas on around round 10 or 11. Okay, um, Ryder and the Cox. Wicked fight, and I'm not too sure who's going to win that fight. I'm just being real. There's days I wake up, I'm, 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 I'm die hard. Yeah, Ryder's going to take care of him, but then I'm seeing Jamie Cox. And I know Jamie Cox is, the, is a physically taller man. Not necessarily a bigger man, but he's a physically taller man. So maybe he can go do something on him. I don't know. Okay, um, your guy, uh, over Joshua's brought season on the card. Joshua's a real deal. Um, he is the reincarnation of Evander Holyfield, mixed with a little blend of Andre Wood. Very, very precise, crisp, uh, picture perfect puncher who I believe will come at Eric Guy that's walking by there. Who I believe, who I believe will go a very long way. Okay, Spencer, convince uh, for the people watching, tell the people why they should buy the pay per view. Why they should buy the pay per view? Because it's worth it. It's worth it. Is that it? It. Thank you very much. Eric, happily want to Eric, Eric Guy was the first guy walking around with cameras. Now everyone's doing it. He was the first guy, and I'm talking, he was doing this 30 years ago. Yep. Do you understand? When, when you had to carry the Betamax videotape around to film guys, he's got some early, early amateur stuff. Black and white. Um, black. Oh, yeah, black and white. Exactly. Yeah, right, right, exactly. So, the, the real people, guys. Yeah, tell the people that would buy the pay per view, so definitely it's worth it, yeah? It's, it's oh. definitely worth it because it's worth it. Right, it's a fight that public one. People are going to come out in the droves to go and see it, and if you can't get your ticket, because it's going to be difficult, there is already leaving the house right if you, if you can't if you can't get your ticket go buy, it, go buy it on pay-per-view thank, thank, thank you right? very much appreciate it peace two fingers, fingers you know how we do <laughs> hi this is michael buffer and uh, let's get ready for ej boxing live ej boxing live here ej boxing live here